just need a friggin' wall to throw against. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about South Africans with rotational shot put, how to get more throws in, what to look at, what to think about, and we're gonna talk about it all in this video. So here we go, check it out. Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation and in today's video what we're going to talk about is the next video in the series and we are going to be talking about South Africans for the rotational shot and your wall throws. Now again, the reason we're advocating wall throws when you go into the off season, you need to be able to get in a higher volume of reps in a, in a shorter period of time. Crunch time is one of the big things people face. You have limited practice time, you have limited training time. So how are you going to get in a nice volume of throws that you need to get your improvements? Wall throws is that answer. You throw the balls right here, you pick it up, you walk five five feet, 10 feet, whatever, you pick up your implement and you're back in the circle or you're back in your throwing area rapidly. So that really helps to keep the pace moving or just cuts down in the back and the forth, you can get your work in. The second reason is when you're throwing into the wall, you're not focusing on distance. You're focusing on what you have to do technically. You're focusing, you should be focusing on feeling positions and because the only thing it's gonna do is go to the wall. So it tends to pull the throwers down just a notch instead of trying to smash the crap out of it. And again, that's not to say we don't to have our throws here in Arizona we have great weather we're outside throwing now a couple of times a week but we take a couple of days a week to where we can just focus technically so that when we go out to the ring we take that mindset of technical focus and then when we crank it up that's going to be a good thing South African this is nothing revolutionary but the difference is with us we're looking at the pillars and we're identifying the problems in the throw and then we're putting together always a customized drill prescription for the athlete and every athlete that we coach in our program even though they follow the system they're learning the mechanics through the system and the six pillars, but we're identifying their specific individual needs and we're creating their own custom RX. Okay, so here we go. Now, one of the things he has to do is make sure he goes from left, he, right? He's going to go his right to left. So he's getting the right entry. He has a tendency to want to start here. Now, a lot of people have, you know, systems where they're going to start this way and they're throwing this way and they're going to rotate and they're going to turn and, and drive. I don't think that's bad. I think what we're going to do is actually really similar to that. We're going to keep the feet. We're going to move here we're already basically starting with the sweep leg in this position and we're going to be able to feel the foot turn a little bit more and then we're going to drive across the circle so he's going to work on again going we're going our right to left he's going to push okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to take him back and we're going to see about having him start this way and he's going to wind and he's going to turn the foot so he can come out this way. So let's give that a shot. Okay, so what I'm going to have Carson do again, he's going to start here straddling and he's going to rotate this way so he can feel the push. Go this way. Okay, so you're going to see what we're doing by that. He's over rotating and he's, he's coming across the circle this way. What we're trying to do is get him to keep the left shoulder out. Now, if you've seen some of the discus videos I talked to him about, we're trying to have him understand that the path of the left shoulder is going to be really key so that he's going to be able to come into this position and get his hips under him. He's sliding his hips and he's over rotating. So we're going to try that one more time. And he's going to start here and we're going to go this way and he's going to push. Okay, so now we're going to be, he's going to feel that rotation into a linear path. Start with your feet even. More even. There you go. Okay. He's going to go here. Turn the foot straight to sick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Now, perfect example of big over rotation. So he's not turning his knee here and driving this way. So this is the point of the wall throw. Very quickly, we can identify positions. Theoretically, I should be in the safe zone standing here, <laughs> but as you can see, that wasn't. Okay, so the key thing here is what we're identifying is a sprint. So here, what we're working on with a, with a South African, we're working on kind of a transition from our pillar two into pillar three. He needs to feel the drop in position, and that's a tricky thing to teach. You're pushing the knee and the hip forward, and you're creating sprint across the circle into the middle as fast as you can, that small. In the shot put, we're going three foot six inches it's a very short path so here's where you're going to see the big the big strategy change for Carson is how he's moving linearly into the throw and that's what we need to fix and so what we're going to be doing is focusing on that pillar three drop in position and the sweep so he's got to be able to feel this type of position into the throw and right now you can see he's over rotating so we've got to change the path of the arm as it opens so he opens this way into the throw versus getting too rotational 
which is going to make you too rotational and lose that linear movement into the throw, which is what we're seeing a little bit. Okay, so here we go. And then we're just going to have them kind of throw. And again, this is the point of the technical focus. We're focusing really hyper-focused on technique. And this is a great off-season thing to do. Let's go wind. That was better. Okay, so you notice he did a real good thing. He just slowed it down, trying to feel positions and find everything we've been talking about and discussing. So he's gonna do that again. And then we are going to wrap. We'll add a little more detail. And we'll go into depth for drills and different things if you're an online member, so check that out. Okay. There you go. So good, so now we're starting to feel that change in that transition. So when we're doing South Africans, the point is we usually will do the drill, we're feeling more of this type of motion because this motion helps feel the load in the sprint. But in this case, we could see where we isolate it and we're forcing him to feel this motion. So he's gonna feel how to drive and go linear into the direction of the throw. So this is where we're piecing our things together. So you're gonna notice in our system, when we're going through a progression, we're identifying the pillar issues, retraining those patterns and putting it together in the pillar connection and testing the efficiency of the newly developed pattern. Okay, so that's the goal. Remember, hit your wall throws, focus on technique right now, especially if you're coming out of a fall sport or you've been training in this off season, it's technical, 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 mechanical. Start, don't forget times to work your rhythm. And then as we get closer in the season becomes much more about rhythm and then less and less about thinking so mechanically and thinking more rhythmically. And that's why you wanna get wall throws in because you can get that high volume of throws you need to set up those new patterns that are gonna help you throw a lot farther faster. Be sure to check out our free mini courses on rotational throws and the glide for throwing chain reaction. If you're a on online member, log in. We'll go through this same video in more depth. And if you're interested in becoming a member, check it out. So thanks so much. Hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit the notification button and we will see you on the next video. The shot moving and we're going to keep the left side is going to have a point where the right side is going to accelerate into it. And so we're trying to increase.